Hey everybody, you already know what time it is. It's detector unboxing time once more. So let's get right to it. I'm really excited about this one. Um, and of course you'll see why. That oh, opened relatively easily. Alright, you guys are still seeing this. Oops, upside down. Right. Turn that aside. So this here is the Quick Set Fire Alarm AC powered early warning smoke and fire detector. So let's go ahead and open it up. Open the box itself up. Oh, it's one of these kind. Oh, and they wrapped it in like a tissue paper. I'll put it down here. And there it is. And there's the other paperwork all in there. This thing keeps closing up. There's the other stuff in there. But here's the unit itself. And it may look just a bit familiar to you if you're um, familiar with these older 70s units. Um, this is a rebranded Pyrotector Smoke Sentinel, um, model 30-52. Um, now this is the line cord model, so I believe this would be like 30-52, um, either L or P. L for line cord or P for plug-in. I'm not entirely sure on that. Um, I'm pretty sure that Pyrotector themselves had line cord models like this. Um, actually I think Game Alarm has one, so, um, yeah, let me put... Um, the unit down here and let me get you guys down here now this one comes in terms of like the timeline of the smoke sentinels we all know that this one here was their very first model of the smoke sentinel well actually i can't say that the very first one was the 255 this one is the 255s so this one's like i think the second model um, but it's one of the first and it definitely is a pioneer in smoke detector technology um, and then this one came out after they switched from this rectangular design to the square design. And they did have a model that was just before this one that was um, the same exact shape and size. It was square like this, but instead of being plastic, it was metal. And it had a slightly different design. It also was, um, the photoelectric sensor was powered with an incandescent bulb, like on this one, rather than an LED. This one does have a photoelectric sensor, just like the um, 255S. But this one's um, new enough that they transitioned into using an LED for the photoelectric diode rather than an um, incandescent bulb that you had to replace. Um, so let's take a look at some of the other paperwork and stuff in here. So here's this bag of goodies that has some screws for wall mounting. It's got, looks like a clip for attaching the cord to the wall. Surprisingly, I don't see one of those cover things for the plug for, um, like, the, uh, that you screw on to the cover plate screw and it keeps the plug from uh, being able to be unplugged unless it's somewhere else in here. <coughs> but um, yeah, this obviously foam stuff. But um, take a look at all the paperwork in a minute. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually open up this bag because there's another piece in here that's very important. If I can get it open. I don't want to like ruin the bag because this is like a Maybe. There we go. Whatever. I'll just tear it open. Dump everything out. Now, this piece... Okay, here's the. There's that little clip. This piece right here. For the um, hardwired models, they actually um, hang off of a bracket. And the bracket mounts on the back here. First of all, here's the underside. I don't think I showed you. The bracket mounts on the back here. There's a screw that goes through the front of the unit into the back and screws into the bracket. And I think that's that screw right there. But this one doesn't have a mounting bracket, obviously, because it's a line cord unit. There's a little hanger there for you can hang it like a picture on a nail or something like that or screw on the wall. But they still give you this plug here, which is a decorative plug to go over that screw that would uh, screw the mounting bracket in. So that's what, that's what it would look like. And yeah very interesting. Now, um, 
Of course, you got your uh, label right here that says M Heart. This is actually, of course, the Quick Set brand name was originally made by M Heart, which makes sense. But now I don't understand why they would put M Heart on the unit, and not Quick Set, um, because the uh, M Heart also made the 911 model, which was that 12.6 volt round model that Enland and um, JDL Productions and a few others have. Um, and I know that M Heart and Quickset both labeled those, so we were kind of wondering who was the original maker. Well, they kind of both were, since M Heart made Quickset. But technically, I guess you could say M Heart was the original maker. So, um, yeah. As for the variants of these, this was a, would originally say it would originally be like a gray color, and it would say Smoke Sentinel on here. Um, and then on the back side, you can see. The label which says quick set fire alarm this one's model 357 quick set division of m hard industries incorporated that's very interesting so now i believe this is the date code right here 21877 1977 does certainly seem like a plausible year for this um other stuff and then here's the ul sticker issue number 2007 and the horn on these is facing out the back like this and these normally have Faraday horns, um, like this one, as you can see, has a Faraday horn. Um, I know they use, often used other brands of horns, I think Delta Alarm, possibly Edwards, um, yeah. But then you can also see on the back here some of the sensor workings, like here's the light tubes for the, one of them's for the LED that um, outputs the sensor beam, and one of them is for the photoelectric sensor itself. And then on this side here, there is a test button. It's not this part on the front here, like many of us used to believe. It's actually a little test lever on the side here, so it's just like the um, ESLs and Newtones. So it's that's normal, and this is test mode. Um, interesting. And then on top you have a smoke inlet to the sensor itself, and there's another inlet through the top vents there. So, And then the LED indicator, of course, is right there. So... Um, Let's go ahead and, actually, before I plug it in, I wanted to just kind of talk about the rebrands that they had of these. So, of course, these are the originally made by Pyrotector, but, of course, you know, Re M. Hart rebranded them. They were also rebranded by MasterGuard, um, Simplex. There's one of the one made by, labeled Simplex on eBay right now for a pretty steep price. Um, they were rebranded by... Did I say Edwards? Yeah, they were rebranded by Edwards, um, and I, I think a few others, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, also, they had they mostly have these hardwired ones that we know of, but there is a battery powered version of this that exists. It's very rare. It was featured on like some fire safety program uh, type thing back in like the eighties or something like that. And um, yeah, but they're very rare. We've never seen one so far it hasn't surfaced at all so let us now go ahead and plug the unit in and i'm gonna hope that it doesn't fall so i just plugged it in and it is the led is lit it is uh flashing 60 times per second so it is running off of straight 120 volt ac not rectified so that already gives you an idea of what it should sound like so let's go ahead and Test it now in three, two, one. Maybe. Whoops. Uh oh. Okay. I thought I broke it for a second there, but apparently it is supposed to snap like that. Um, yeah, so it sounds very much like, you know, any regular 60 hertz, 120 volt AC smoke detector buzz. Um, sounds very much like that Newtone S180L and the Captain Kelly, the Gillette Captain Kelly. Um, let's test it once more.
interesting. Very interesting sound. It's a lot louder, of course, when <laughs> I turned it upside down because um, the horn is right there. But yeah, very interesting. I'm very happy with it. I've wanted one of these square smoke sentinels for a very long time because as you do know, I have this version, the rectangular model of 30-77, which is slightly later. This came out in like probably the early early 80s, I want to say. Um, actually, I think it's dated. I just don't feel like taking the bracket off. But I was after one of these square versions for the longest time, and I finally have one, so I'm very happy about that. Now let's put it aside here, and actually I'm going to show you the box, because I didn't show you that first. Um, I showed you the top and everything. So here's the, well, here's the back of it, actually, I showed you. Quick set fire alarm. I don't know what this dripping is. And then the other side is similar, as you can see, but it's in better condition, because... It has some of that dripping on top, though. On the front flap here, you got your model information. And then... Oops. Oh, hard to pick it up for some reason. Here's your M Heart logo and the quick set information. Some more model information on this side. And the same as that side. Okay. <clears throat> now let's go ahead and look at all the paperwork here. So, first of all, we got this uh, quality control tag. Very interesting. Packed by, inspected by. Um, this one, this uh, this is the manual itself, and then... What is this? Okay, this is... Oh, that's about the twet test switch. And then this is the California State Fire Marshal. Let's see the date. Is 1976, so either that date code inside on the back here, 1977, this is from an, a year earlier, or that's not the date code. Um, okay, yeah, pretty cool. Let's look at this. This is the test switch. So yeah, it is supposed to snap. It was right. I was worried I broke it when I did that, but clearly it's supposed to do that. Oh, there's one more thing in here. Oh, family escape plan. Interesting. That's the same page. I'll just show you this. There'll be some interesting stuff in here. Yeah, there's more back there. Okay, now let's look at the actual manual itself. So this is for models 357, which is the line cord, of course. And then they also had the regular hardwired model, which was 356. So it's one of these folding types. Does it open up? No. I don't think it does. No. Alright, if you want to read anything, you can pause. Huh. That's weird. This one has a picture of a mounting plate, like a plastic bracket that's big and square but most of the ones that I've seen all have like a little like metal strap that runs across there for as the mounting bracket that's very interesting oh see oh that's what this is for okay so this isn't for like this isn't for like hanging the cord on the wall this is the like the cord retainer clamp, as they call it, to keep the plug from becoming unplugged. Interesting diagram there. And well, there's another how to test it down here in a diagram as well. And the limited warranty. No date on the manual. Very interesting. So, 
yeah, once again, incredibly happy with this one. I would, I guess I wouldn't mind finding the original Pyrotector Smoke Sentinel version. Um, that would be nice to have, but I do like this big M heart, b the bold lettering there with the E logo. Very cool. Um, let's do one more test. Just for good measure. wasn't going to stop going off there for a second. Um, see, it, I'm guessing the way this test lever works is it does stick something into the sensor there, but it goes off really fast, unlike most other photoelectric test buttons like that, like this one, which takes forever to go off. Um, so yeah, once again, really, really cool uh, smoke detector. Also a lot bigger than I thought it would be. I thought it would be probably like, maybe like that big but it's, it's huge compared to my hand, as you can see. Um, it's actually probably about as thick as the 255, or as wide as the 255S. So, yeah. Um, I guess I'll put this one down here also for you guys to see. So you got the Smoke Sentinel Trio. Um, so yeah, I don't think there's anything else that I sh can have to say about this one, other than I do have another one like this on the way. So, um... Stay tuned, that will be coming very shortly. Also, this came from Arizona, and I just ordered it on Tuesday. It's now Thursday, so it took two days to get across the country. I am, my mind is blown. I don't even know how they did that. Um, that was crazy. So yeah, um, once again, that is the uh, M Heart Quick Set model, what was it? 357. Uh, the rebranded Pyrotector Smoke Sentinel 30-52 uh, photoelectric smoke detector. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.